No time to paint? Well, not a problem. This week we're doing a 10 minute painting. Welcome to the Wonders of Watercolour. So this week we're going to be doing something really speedy and using our creative juices to paint this gorgeous little rose. I'm going to be using my paints here from Deep Deep Light. They're from my own set, but of course you can use whatever colours that you want to. And I'll be putting all the materials that I use today in the description box. I have done a little drawing here that you can sort of see that I've sketched out and ordinarily on this channel we do supply you with an outline but this week I thought I would thought I would push you into doing your own little sketch so that you can freestyle it in the same way that I have here. Now I'm going to be working wet in wet so as you can see with this really really loose sketch all I'm doing is I'm applying the water to the inside edge of the pencil lines and you can see me dropping in the pigment. Wet in wet is a fantastic way of applying watercolour because it gives it this really loose blurry style and because this is a super fast painting we will be just dropping in the colour and seeing how it pans out. The colours that I've chosen in case you're interested are Cherry Blossom, Ultramarine, Ultramarine Rose is the pinky tone that you can see underneath at the top I've got rose ashes that you can see me mixing here. The red colour is Mayan, we've got green woodpecker as the green and a tiny bit of rose hip. These are from my set from Deep Deep Light and um, if you are interested in treating yourself to these gorgeous handmade paints I do have a discount code but of course as always please use the colours that you have. Indeed you can use whatever colours that you want to for this tutorial because we are freestyling it and we are letting our creativity flow. Because the paper is still wet, you can see that when I drop the pigment into the paper, it just blurs into the pigment that I've already applied. The brushes that I'm using today are from Craftamo. Last year, we did a I did a collaboration with this amazing brand and I created these brushes. I designed them specifically for botanical painting and this brush is a number eight. We will be doing a second run. And in case you're interested in that, I will pop it in the description box underneath this video. And we, if you want to click on the link, you will be notified when we relaunched. Um, quite, sh quite shortly, I think we're going to be relaunching um, around April, late April 2024. So once I drop that first layer in, you can see I'm dropping in another pigment. This time I'm using Mayan just dropping it in randomly to create some shapes and form. Now I ought to say ordinarily on this channel I provide you with a free outline that you can have access to by joining our free membership level of Patreon. Every week you will have a outline directly delivered to your inbox but like I said this week we will be just freestyling so there won't be one to accompany this tutorial but we do have a Patreon where if you are interested in learning how to paint botanicals um, we have a Patreon where we will show you how to paint them in more detail. You won't find any of the Patreon tutorials here on YouTube. So if you are interested in learning how to paint botanicals in greater detail, let's just take a look to see what you have. When you join Patreon, you will have access to exclusive content that you just won't find here on YouTube. Whether you're a seasoned artist or just dipping your brush into botanical watercolour, you may want to join us here on Patreon where the magic happens. And with Patreon's new collections tab, it makes accessing the tutorials super easy. When you join us here on Patreon, we dive deep into the art of botanical watercolours, from vibrant blooms to fine detail, and I'm here to guide you every step of the way. We have three membership levels to suit your skill and budget, and we even have a mentorship and coaching level, so if you're serious about developing your skills, then this could be the level for you. And now you can join Patreon for free, which will give you access to all of our YouTube traceables, which will be delivered weekly to your inbox, so no more scrolling through for the images. So if you are ready to embark on a watercolour adventure, unlock exclusive content and join a community that celebrates the beauty of botanicals, hit that join button, which I will link in the description. You can see me here just dropping in the beautiful ultramarine rose. Now this is a granulating colour and you can see it has separated a little bit there on my palette and on the paper. So if you are looking for something really special, this is a fantastic colour. But of course, if you want to use something like a dark burgundy tone, if you want to join in with me today, then go right ahead. I'm using my number two size brush from my set here uh, just to add a little bit more detail. The purpose of this tutorial is to create something really loose and flowing so that 
that's why I wanted it to be a kind of um, an undefined looking outside edge. This is rather unusual for me as a botanical artist. I do find it difficult to rein in that sort of element of adding more detail, but um, I don't mind painting like this. I actually really enjoy it from time to time. We have got quite a lot of botanical painting tutorials on our channel here, and I will put a playlist right at the end. They are completely free. Um, if you want to join in with us, do take a look. If you are enjoying this kind of content, could I ask you to hit that like button? It's a way of supporting my channel, and it means that more people can see it. So the more people that engage with my content, um, the more chances I have of being seen, and it would help my channel grow. If you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe button underneath, along with that little notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new content. Like I said, we normally provide you with the free outlines to go with these. There's no charge, it's, there's no commitment. You can just join Patreon for free and have access to all of those. But not this week because we are just freestyling. You can see I'm just building up the layers as I work along. So you can just, um, just follow what I'm doing here. The idea of this being that it isn't uh, a strictly accurate rose. It's meant to be just literally throwing paint onto paper and enjoying the process of just creating art without the stress. This is the beautiful forest green. This is a granulating color from my set. It has a lot of yellow tones in it, so when you put um, when you apply it wet on wet, you can see those colours separating out. But here you can see me adding a tiny bit more detail with my number two brush. Again, I'm having to I'm having to rein in my botanical artist in me um, because I do find it difficult to work uh, uh, sort of loosely. You can see I'm just adding a little bit of spiky bits to the edges of the leaf there and adding a bit more colour to the stem. Again, just using my number two brush. I ought to say actually that the paper that I'm using is from Etcher. It's from an A, A5 size sketchbook. It's 100% cotton paper and it's a cold press, which means it has texture. It's a great paper to use if you're working wet in wet and if you want that kind of textured look. The color that you see me using here is called Forest Green. Look how dark and beautiful that color is and I'm applying it just here and there to add a little bit of depth of color to certain areas of the leaf, making sure that I leave some area, making sure that I leave a little bit of the area untouched. We do have a Facebook group called The Wonders of Watercolour where you can share your finished paintings with us. We work so hard to keep our group safe and um, we, love share, we love to see you sharing your finished paintings from The Wonders of Watercolour. So if you are interested in joining us there, I will link it in the description box. You will also find um, some of our older outlines in the album folder there. So if you do want to join in with some of our older tutorials that we, hear, we have here on YouTube, then do check us out. Um, we are, like I said, a fantastic community over there. We're so proud of the community that we've built. So have a look. I'll put it in the description box underneath this video. Um, we'd love to see you there as part of our community. You can also have some feedback from me and my fantastic admin team, as well as our other amazing group members. Just adding a bit more detail here and there, feeling that I wanted to just add a little bit more depth of colour to stop the rose from looking flat. Remember, this is a really loose style painting. It isn't meant to be botanical. It's just having fun with watercolour. Great if you're new to painting because it means that you don't have to be too accurate and it's a fantastic way to get to know your watercolours and how they react to the paper. This is my blender brush from my set. I'm using it damp just to merge the colors together, um, hence the name. I'm adding some water onto my palette there. You can see I'm just picking it up and patting off the excess onto my kitchen paper and just gently blur merging those colors together using a very, very light touch. 
You can also use it to lift out some colour if you find that you want to remove a little bit of your watercolour as you can see me doing here. Um, a fantastic curve on the top of that brush which makes blending really really easy. You can see how I'm using it here just to add a little bit of lift out and then by pressing down on my kitchen paper just to remove the excess paint it lifts out the paint really really easily but just using a really really light pressure as you can see me doing here. And you can see by pressing, you're just lifting out the excess paint. So not long to go on this tutorial now. Um, remember to join in and have fun with it. Uh, remember to hit like if you've enjoyed this painting tutorial. And we'd love to see you over on our Facebook group and Patreon, which I will link in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.